Welcome back to our channel. Today we will do practice for mock test section 9 and section 10 in this video. Before we start mock test, let me share you one good news. Many of our students are passing the SERU test with very good results. Sharing you one of the PHV driver's latest result with you. He followed exactly what we said and achieved 83% marks in his first trial. So make sure you watch our theory videos for a few time and then come to mock test videos. After this video all your multiple choice questions practice will be completed for SERU assessment. Please note you will have 18 multiple choice questions. And 2 questions for true or false. After watching all our videos for a couple of times we can give you guarantee that you will get 18 plus 2. 20 marks for those questions. 17 questions will be complete the sentence by adding the missing word questions. That will require good knowledge of English grammar. We will create special video on basic grammar explanation. And then one video entirely for complete the sentence questions. There will be one final video which will cover everything that you need to watch one day before exam. Question 1. What is safeguarding? Option A. Protecting banks and offices from burglary. Option B. Protecting children and adults at risk from harm and abuse. Option C. Protecting yourself from any disease. Option D. Protecting your house from fire and theft. The correct answer is option B. Safeguarding means protecting children and adults at risk from harm and abuse. Question 2. What is synonyms of adults at risk? Option A. Vulnerable adults. Option B. Valuable adults. Option C. Risky adults. Option D. Risk creator adults. The correct answer is option A. Adults at risk sometimes called vulnerable adults. Question 3. According to law, who is your child at risk from harm and abuse? Option A. A person under the age of 5. Option B. A person under the age of 13. Option C. A person under the age of 18. Option D. A person under the age of 10. The correct answer is option C. According to the law, a child is a person under the age of 18. Question 4. Who is an adult at risk? Option A. Anyone over the age of 21 who need extra care and support. Option B. Anyone over the age of 16 who need extra care and support. Option C. Anyone over the age of 20 who need extra care and support. Option D. Anyone over the age of 18 who need extra care and support. The correct answer is option D. An adult at risk is anyone over the age of 18 who needs extra care and support. Question 5. Why would be adult at risk and cannot protect themselves? Option A. Because of their attitude or behavior. Option B. Because of their height or body size. Option C. Because of their age disability or mental illness. Option D. Because of their country, color, or religion. The correct answer is option C. An adult at risk and cannot protect themselves because of their age disability or mental illness. Question 6. Who should be aware of if your passenger is an unaccompanied child? Option A. Your operator. Option B. TFL. Option C. Parents. Option D. Any witness. 
The correct answer is option A. If your passenger is an unaccompanied child, make sure your operator knows. Question 7. What should you know if your passenger is an unaccompanied child? Option A. Name of child's father who will meet child at the destination. Option B. Name of child's mother who will meet child at the destination. Option C. Name of adult who will meet child at the destination. Option D. Name of child's grandparent who will meet child at the destination. The correct answer is option C. If your passenger is an unaccompanied child, you should know the name of adult who will meet the child at the destination. Question 8. Who is responsible to keep children and adults at risk safe from harm and abuse? Option A. Social workers. Option B. Police. Option C. Council. Option D. Everybody's. The correct answer is option D. Keeping children and adults at a risk safe from harm and abuse is everybody's responsibility. Question 9. How can you help protect someone at risk? If you notice something is not right. Option A. Try to protect by yourself. Option B. Report to the police. Option C. Report to the TFL. Option D. Inform other PHV drivers. The correct answer is option B. You might notice things which do not seem quite right, and you could be in the position to report something to the police that may help protect someone at risk. Please remember you have to report to your operator as well. Question 10. How does criminal exploitation known as? Option A. County lines. Option B. Country lines. Option C. Council lines. Option D. Courtesy lines. The correct answer is option A. Criminal exploitation is also known as county lines. This is when gangs and organized crime groups use children and young adults to sell drugs. These children and young adults are often forced to travel across counties for example, by train or in taxis and private hire vehicles, and they use mobile phone lines to keep in contact with individuals in the drugs trade. Question 11. What are the signs that shows a child or vulnerable person is at risk? Option A. Hungry, sad or crying. Option B. Abused, harmed or neglected. Option C. Angry, aggressive or unsettled. Option D. All of the above. The correct answer is option B. A young person or adult who shows signs of being abused, harmed or neglected means they might be at risk. Question 12. What are the signs of risk for a child or vulnerable person in the company of someone? Option A. Adults putting a young person into your vehicle under the influence of alcohol or drugs. Option B. A child or young person looks concerned or frightened in the company of adults. Option C. Decisions or money controlled by someone else for an adult. Option D. All of above. The correct answer is option D. Pause the video and please read all the options again and try to remember. Question 13. Which are the details you will include in your note of the incident or situation? Please choose two correct options. Option A. Date, time and a description of what happened. Option B. Travel duration and mileage for that trip. Option C. Name, address and physical description of people involved. Option D. Name of the operator and police officer. The correct answer is option A and option C. It is helpful to keep a note, written or recorded, of the incident or situation that you are worried about. 
Include details such as dates and times, a description of what happened, the name, address, and a physical description of the people involved. You can then give these details to the police. Question 14. What is the abbreviation of NSPCC? Option A. National Society for the Provocation of Cruelty to Children. Option B. National Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Children. Option C. National Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Criminals. Option D. National Security for the Prevention of Care to Children. The correct answer is Option B. National Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Children. Question 15. If you do not feel it appropriate to report the matter to police, what are the other options you have? Option A. Crime Stoppers, an anonymous service. Option B. National Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Children, NSPCC. Option C. Modern Slavery Helpline. Option D. All of the above. The correct answer is Option D. Pause the video and please read all the options again and try to remember. Now we are starting Section 10 Mock Test. We include this section in the same video because of very few questions so let's start. Question 1. What is ride sharing? Option A. When people book the ride for someone else. Option B. When people don't know each other pay separate fares and travel together in the same vehicle. Option C. When people using different operators for different journey. Option D. When people know each other and travel together in the same vehicle. The correct answer is option B. Ride sharing is when people who do not know each other pay separate fares and travel together in the same vehicle. Question 2. How does ride-sharing work? Option A. Journeys must be booked with a licensed London PHV operator. Option B. PHV driver can take the booking can inform PHV operator. Option C. All the bookings are ride-sharing journeys. Option D. PHV driver needs a separate license for ride-sharing. The correct answer is option A. All ride-sharing journeys must be booked with a licensed London PHV operator. As a London PHV driver, you can only carry out ride-sharing bookings that you have received from a licensed London PHV operator. Question 3. Why the ride-sharing can be potential safety risk for passengers? Option A. It increases the travel time. Option B. The operator might charge passenger higher fare. Option C. The other passenger might learn the personal things about you. Option D. All of the above. The correct answer is option C. One passenger could be put at risk if the other passenger learns things about them such as their home address where they work, their daily routines, and whether they live alone or not. A stranger knowing information like this may make a passenger vulnerable to crime. So many PHV drivers watching our videos, but not subscribing. Please support us for free education movement and subscribe our channel. Share with other drivers so everyone can pass their SERU test in first trial.